Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive. In the last video, we've taken a look at sales and catalog part of your navigation panel. In this video, I'm going to be covering the rest of your navigation panel. Let's take a look at mobile part of your admin panel and click on manage apps. In this part, you can create your own application for your web page. You can create a catalog application where it it only shows your dis displays your products or you can actually come up with an application where customers can buy your products as you can see we have different options for different device types we're gonna have more tutorials for the parts we didn't cover in detail next let's take a look at customers at this part you can manage your customers you can see all the information they have on your web page you can edit these informations, you can change the address, change the name, change everything about a, a customer if, if, if you want to. You can see their recent orders, what they have on their card, their wish list. We can also create customer groups where we can group our customers. If we can uh, just create new, new groups or just use the ones that are over here. By creating groups, you can actually um, assign customers to that specific group and then take an action for the whole group. You can also see your online customers. Right now, I'm the only one on the web page. Under promotions, you can add some price rules. You can have like 30%, 40% discount coupons where your customers can use that. It's the same story with the shopping cart. Under newsletter, you can choose to have a newsletter template. You can create one from here, and then you can manage it later on. If you choose to do that, um, your customers are going to have the same template for as their newsletter. Every time you send one, you can see who subscribed for your newsletter and then manage them from here. Um, by default, uh, to sign for newsletter, it's by default on at the bottom of your web page. If you didn't change that, your customers can sign up for that from there. Next is CMS. Over here, you can manage your pages, static blocks, add widgets, and polls. Let's take a look at pages. Uh, if you could remember the catalog part and manage categories, what we did was we added categories for our products where our products will be listed and it would appear on the web page right away. So this does the same thing, but it does it for your pages. As you can see, all the pages are listed over here. If we go to About Us, and to make it more clear, let's take a look at the web page. So here we are on our About Us page. Here's the content, and you can simply find it down here. To edit this part on your web page, you will simply go to CMS pages and then click on whichever page that is in this case it's about us and then you can find the page information you can change its name you can change the content you can change its design you can um, add columns come up with a custom design I would suggest you to play with this yourself and then go back to the web page and see what changes it does that way you would understand it better. Over static blocks, uh, we're going to see the blocks of our page. Uh, we have footer links, we have newsletter, services, account, help. Let's click on help to make you understand this more. And let's go back to the web page and go down and see where help is. So it is over here and then we have privacy policy disclaimer shipping and returns under help so if we take a look at this part we can see the title of the block which is help identifier the store which store it is listed in its status if it's enabled or disabled and then the content the content is over here we could simply change something and then save the block and if we were to go back to the web page, we would see the change right away. Let's just refresh the page. And it would appear over here. So this is this is the page you can do things like that. Next we have widgets and polls. We're gonna be covering this later on, but let's take a look at what it does for us. 
as you can see we have lots of widgets listed over here um, let's try to add a new one and show you what we can do with it uh, we can just choose a type of the widget we want to add and then we can choose a design uh, as I said we're gonna be covering this later on so meanwhile let's take a look at polls um, this page is gonna list all the polls you have you're gonna see if it's active or not if you click on, on it it's gonna bring uh, the answers which you can um, change or see how many times it was voted uh, let's jump to reports over here you're gonna find all the reports that is related to your store um, we don't it's not gonna and nothing is gonna show up right now but um, you can just sort it according to um, year month you can have a monthly report report based on the year you can um, see your best selling products most view products you can see uh, new customers new tags reviews search terms basically you can find any report over your store under reports part of your admin panel uh, system is next but this is like a big category to cover right now we're gonna have a system video for this that is specifically gonna talk about all the parts over here this concludes our second video on admin navigation please take a look at our other videos for more training on Magento once again it's Baron from Attack Interactive and thank you for watching this